Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the March 2018 Love From Lizzie card kit. Um, I, I want to apologise in advance for how rough this video is going to come across because I am actually down to just one hand having dislocated my wrist uh, about 10 days ago. So um, I'm doing my best and I've started a one-handed card series to show people that you know what, if you persevere, you still can make cards. Um, but yes, so I'll, I will be showing you today's kit. There's a couple of things that I want to run past you before um, I go anywhere. One is that the um, birthday blog hop draw has been done. Check your notifications on YouTube because because not everybody's used the name or I haven't got their email addresses, I have replied to comments letting you know that you've won. I've had the first prize claimed but there were 11 other prizes that were awarded so I will leave it um, for another three weeks just to give people fair chance uh, to get back to me and if they don't then I will do another video where I redraw the names so that's that um, the release video is following this one and this month's release is enormous um, because I went to Creativation and Creative World in January, both in Phoenix and in Frankfurt, I managed to meet some fantastic um, suppliers and I've got some really exciting new lines to bring to the shop, which I can't wait to do. Um, and the one final thing that I wanted to make you all aware of is if you are subscribers to my kit, please make sure that you go across to the Love From Lizzie website and create an account because some of you um, check out as guests and the subscriptions have been running the same since I've moved across over into the new shop. However, something is going to change very shortly for subscribers which will have you very excited, no doubt. I can't wait to roll this out but I need to have all of my subscribers with an account in the Love From Lizzie shop. So if you can do that, that'd be great. Anyway. So to try to keep this video nice and short, I'm going to now introduce the card kit for March 2018. So this is what it's going to look like when it comes to you. All of these kits are painstakingly hand packed and I'm going to start off as I often do with the bigger bag so that you can have a look at the cardstock, get an idea of the colour weight. Now, this is where it becomes painful to watch. I'm very sorry, but trying to do everything with one hand is no way near as easy as you'd like to think it is. And it's not until you've only got the use of one hand that you realise how difficult you find it. Okay, right, so as you've had a good look at it there, perhaps I'm going to show you the stamp set. Now, this month's stamp set was put together by Crafty Not Shifty who's Laura, she's on my design team, she creates wonderful cards every month and I've had quite a challenging month like personally this month so um, she offered to take this off my hands and she has done an absolutely incredible job. So we've got a nice bowl of ice cream, you've got pancakes, you've got two cupcakes although I bet this, this top one here could be doubled up to make to look like ice cream then you've got like another little cake here and these could be cookies or um, macaroons, I think they're called. Um, and then you've got some nice sentiments. You've got, you are the sweetest, treat yourself. A party without cake is just a meeting and fueled by cake, coffee and crafting. I think she's absolutely smashed it out of the park. I think this is a lovely stamp set and I look forward to being able to make it. So that's the stamp set that you're getting this month. Let's look at the cardstock so that you've got the idea. Okay, so as always, there are five sheets of cardstock. They are eight and a half by 11. And there is pink, black, apple green, chocolate brown, and smooth white. Now, this smooth white is Copic friendly. So um, if you don't want to use it for card bases and you want to use it for stamping and then coloring on, um, alcohol markers, I mean not just Copic, obviously Spectrum Noir and Pro markers, whatever alcohol markers you may have, this cardstock works beautifully with them. But they are the five sheets, as I say, eight and a half by eleven, so they've cut down perfectly to make your um, smaller, to make your usual, sorry, card bases. And here are the patterned papers. 
So there are 12, they are single sided. This one's obviously loose. Um, and they are all pink, green, brown, and sort of cream in color. This is a really nice patterned one. This is almost like tea roses. You've got some nice stripes with, with um, some spots on. This is really nice stripe because this patterned paper is, have we gone past it? No, no, we haven't gone yet, but there is a patterned paper with that pattern. So the colorways are all, it's, it works well with cake and ice cream, you know, the brown for the chocolate and pink for frosting. This is a really nice, like quite small pattern. It's quite busy, but because it's all tone on tone, it's great. This is beautiful. I love this paper. Lovely bunches of flowers. And here you've got sort of like these authentic, old fashioned um, sweetie jars. And here is some more black like, tone on tone of those blooms. And then these are like little bags of sweeties, which are really cute. And then here's that pink pattern that I was talking about earlier when I mentioned the stripes. So they are the six by six patterned papers. You are going to get some peel offs, some love from Lizzie with peel offs, of course. And these are chocolate mirror. So they are brown, but they are very shiny. So you're gonna going to get a whole strip of those. There is some specialty cardstock this month. Goodness, this is a bit of a fight. Sorry guys. <laughs> if this if you find this difficult, the design team will also be showing unboxings. So I won't I won't be offended if you if you feel the need to go elsewhere to watch the unboxing. Right. So there are eight sheets and they are card panel sizes. So they are the size of a standard card front they are five and a half by four and a quarter so there is bronze pearlescent this is almost like a very dark forest green with a gold pearlescent overlay this has got a pinstripe on it it's like a really nice tan brown and it's got these very slight ridges I'm not sure if you can hear that but that's lovely and then there is this this one which is an off-white and it's got a texture to it. Again, I don't know whether or not the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's almost like sort of zigzags that are embossed into it. It's a very texturized cardstock. You have a soft pink pearlescent. You have this, which is almost like a taupe, but it's got a shine to it. It's like a glossed finish. You have like an antique gold pearlescent card. And then a very pale pink marbled card and they're double sided. So they are your specialties. And then you get a pack of alphabet stickers. So you get a sheet of each. But what I really like about these stickers is that you get like five A's, four B's. So you, you get lots. So you're not restricted on just one letter of the alphabet. And they are sort of like a really nice coppery bronzy color. So they're not your usual gold. But they're also they're not brown and shiny. So they are they are a really good copper colour. And then we have some 12 by 12 cut aparts and some vellum, which of course coordinate uh, perfectly with the pattern papers. So here we go. So this is one of the cut aparts, which has got four of the larger tiles and then four medium-sized ones. It has got this tea rose pattern on the back. And then there's this one and this again so there's um seven in this very square size and it, this could also be you know like you could treat it as nine or you could treat these two as four separate ones so there's and these have got some lovely sentiments i mean together is a wonderful place to be believe in yourself these moments cherish and then on the back you've got that stripe that there was also in the six by six so you could even do you know, using part of this and then using the smaller paper as well to put emphasis on your projects. This is the vellum. Let's see if I can take it away from that. Okay, so you've got Sweet Life and then, oh gosh, I'm guessing this is French and I'm not gonna offend any French people that follow me by, by trying to uh, pronounce that. Um, but yes, this has got copper foiling and there is nine tiles, so they're really pretty. 
And then there are these, and these are like big labels, which if you had like sweetie jars, they'd be great on. But I think that I think they'd make for lovely toppers because they're a little bit bigger and they're big enough to be a focal point on a card. And then on the reverse side of that, you've got this really nice brown pattern, which doesn't feature in the six by six papers. So that is the large bag. I'm just going to move these little bits out of the way with one hand, so it might take me a bit longer than normal, I'm afraid, guys. Okay. So now we move on to the embellishment bag. So, one-handed opening Ziplocs, by the way, if you slide them together, it creates a little hole. Something that I've managed to learn over the recent days. Okay, so, let's start with the ribbon as it's at the top that there is brown cupcake. Now this is a grow game ribbon and it's got these little cupcakes printed on and they're printed in exactly the right colors. And you get a meter of that. You get a meter of this pink satin. It's a very soft pink, almost baby pink. So it contrasts nicely with the pink from the patterned papers. There is a lime green and white baker's twine. And there is it's like an ivory white, another narrow one. These narrow ones, they make such pretty little bows and they're so easy to tie. Um, and they also look really classy on your card. So you get ribbon. Let's get the Nouveau drops. So this month, I wanted a little bit of a contrast color. So I've gone for the Lemoncello Jewel Drops. So whilst it, they look like this color, when you actually pop them on your project and let them dry, they dry back quite clear. So they'll just look like little lemon little lemon sweets on your projects. So you get those. I'm not gonna get this out because I will never get it back in with one hand. Um, but this, it's similar to the material that's in tinsel, like Christmas tinsel. And it's in a really shiny gold. And I just thought this would be interesting to try to use because it's something a little bit different for what us card makers would usually have a crack with, but I think it would make for a really nice, nest, messy nest on the back of your card. You've got the Sweet Treats sequin mix. It's just a little sample bag, so you can have, have a go, see if you like it. Um, there is um, the full size bag available in the shop, which will be in the product release that's coming next. But you get that bag. This, I'm afraid I can't unwind for you, but I'm gonna show you by squashing it a bit. This is wire, but it's wrapped in paper. So it looks as though it could be, um, it can be positioned and it can be um, put, in, oh, here we go, look, there's a bit of the wire sticking at the end. So you, you'd need a wire cutter to trim it or some, a really nasty pair of scissors that you don't mind spoiling, but it's wrapped in all of this paper and twine. So it looks really natural and authentic. And then we have five wooden buttons with four holes and they've got a really nice ridge. So these would color up nicely with ink or you can glossy accents them or just leave them completely natural. If you keep up with the sneak peeks, you will have seen the gems. So there, I haven't counted them, but there are hundreds of them and they are in this really nice copper color and they've got a really sparkly and the itty bitty gems I think can look really pretty on the card they look a really nice classy finishing touch then we've also got some craft labels so these are they've got a matte finish to them um, and they're four different shapes but they're in this sort of label format a little bit like um, some of the things that we find in um, the pattern papers and in this bag again I'm not going to open it but there are 10 brads that are copper and there are three lolly sticks again this is me trying to push um you guys into trying something a bit different on your card fronts i already know how i'm going to use these lolly sticks so i'm going to be able to offer you some inspiration on those now these i have to get out <laughs> i can't just wave them like this because you won't see what they are and see how wonderful they are so in here are eight sentiments. They're all different. Gosh, this times like this. I wish I was right-handed. Okay, so let's just make some space. So they are in a scripted front and they are acetate and they've got, they're really thick, they're really sturdy. And they've got, it's again, this copper color. 
um, similar to, let's get this here, similar colour to the stickers. So everything ties in, it all, all works together. But you've got big hugs, you've got enjoy, thank you, fabulous, hello, love, for you, and friends. So these are the eight sentiments. As I say, they are acetate, so they'll work well on the front of a shaker or they'll work within a shaker um, or as just a tile attaching however you so see fit. But I've got some really good ideas for those and I'm really excited to use them. And then last but by no means least, we have the dies. Now there are three dies this month and they are mini nesting dies. So they're hexagons in three sizes and they all fit within each other or you can use them standalone. But again, the hexagon works with the alphabets. So if you're wanting to do something along that line, I have got so many ideas for this kit. When I was putting it together, I was like, oh, this is gonna be quite a challenge for me to craft with. But as I was getting all the embellishments together, I was like, oh, I could do this and I can do this and I can do this. And then this happens and I think, oh, am I gonna be able to do it? So I'm gonna try. Please, uh, please be gentle with me, but I am absolutely going to try to get um, some cards together. I will be very surprised if I manage to do 10 cards, simply because it took me at least twice as long to make my one-handed card. So um, I will endeavour to do my very best to um, get as many cards for inspiration out to you as possible. And please hop on to the next video to see uh, what the product release is because there's some really exciting things that obviously add-ons that coordinate directly with the kit but then also all the new released products um, that I've managed to secure for Love From Lizzie from Creativation and Creative World. Anyway, until next time guys, thanks very much. Do take care and happy vapor crafting. Bye!